Stitching ain't easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Today is the country gal kitchen cow. That's right, y'all. Finally doing this. <laughs> Just a smidge behind. But technically today's Friday, so you know it could be worse. It's still a Friday in July. I hope it counts. Angelie and I have discussed it. I think it counts <laughs> as long as we're making them. We feel like we're doing all right. Once a month is quite a commitment. I feel like. Okay, so, um, I missed the rainbow, so I scooted y'all to where you guys could see the rainbow. Um, I'm still under construction. I mentioned that a time or two. Um, just putting things in project bags and stuff that, like, yeah, for easy whips and all those things. And so, different view, different things. I have a coffee table now that has all the gnomes on them and so I'm gonna try to sit in front of that sometimes and have like cool gnome display back behind us for the moment until we move. This is the plan. So okay. All that to say, finally, finally, today is the 2021 Country Gal Kitchen Cow, I don't know, June July edition. I guess it just kind of depends okay so what this is if you're new is myself along with my darling precious friend miss angelia over at crocheting house mouse are doing a collab together and i guess it's a collab it's not really a cow it's more of a collab but anyway uh and we are making kitchen items i am making pot holders mostly she is making dish soap covers mostly. We also make the other person's item. And um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've had several of you guys join in. She's had several of you join in. She has Facebook and or the Facebook, so we call her on here. She has the Facebook and she also has Instagram. So you guys can get on there and send pictures over to her. Angelia Crocheting House Mouse. She will be linked below. And like I said, she makes dish soap covers and they're absolutely adorable. The one she made this time looked like a little pioneer woman. It's, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. And so anyway, and we have several of y'all that join in and I appreciate each and every one of you that do that. So if you guys would like to do that, um, my email is stitchinaineasy42 at gmail.com and... I will put it in the link below, or I will put it down below, it's not a link, I suppose, but anyway, I'll put it down below, so you guys can email me pictures of items you make, they do not have to be pot holders or dish soap covers, it can be any kitchen accessory, anything that y'all make and craft and create, you know, it's just for fun, so, no rules, whatever you want to do, <laughs> so, okay, as long as you make it, don't, you know, like, buy something at Walmart and share it, I mean, I guess you could, but, sure I'll share the picture but I think we're all gonna know you know what I mean <laughs> but anyway okay so today I have three things to share um my plan this whole time has been to make like a vintage something like a vintage pot holder each time try as hard as I can to make a vintage pot holder um if you've been here for a little bit then you know that the very very first one that I showed off um was one that my mom made it's a watermelon pot holder like a half circle I've used that kind of idea a few times in different things, um, and so I used it again. Last time I made a sunflower, this time I made my favorite flower, which is a daisy. So that's what I made. It's just a daisy. And it's pretty much just like the sunflower, to be quite honest, but this way they're going to look super cute next to each other in the camper. It's kind of the plan. <laughs> so, um, so I just did a flat circle. Uh, this is the Dollar Tree Just Yarn, or Just Cotton. I had it, and then I left them all in there. Good job, Ace. 
Um, anyway, and the color, I'm pretty sure it's just yellow, maybe pale yellow. Heck, I don't know. I'll link the colors below just for fun. But basically, if you have a yellow, you know. Okay, and then this is white. And I just did half circles. I did, let's see, just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. And then I folded it in half. And I single crocheted all the way around. And then I chained three. And I did four double crochets in one stitch. And in the next stitch, I did a single crochet. Then four double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet, you know, for petals. So, okay. <clears throat> so that is my daisy. Off of my mom's kind of basic pattern. I have a lot of cool ideas to make from that, but it's summertime, so I made summery items, sort of. Except for this guy that I'm fixing to show you. Okay, so I made two this time. So I'm counting that one as like a vintage one, even though it's not really vintage. It wasn't really, you know, but that's okay. This one was so fun. Um, yeah. So I didn't really have a pattern for that one, for the first, for the daisy. It was just kind of, it's a circle. It's what my mom made, it, you know, that whole thing. This one I do have a pattern for. I will link it below. This is my dear friends, a platypus. <laughs> pot holder because who doesn't need a platypus pot holder and so isn't that the cutest dang thing you've ever seen and on there's you have you can make a little hook and so you can hang it up yes bub okay thank you honey so there's has a little hook where you can hang it um <laughs> i think i'm just gonna let my daughter use it for like her art stuff. She can set her water cup or something on it. I don't know. I don't know. It may just be decor in her house because it's definitely a conversation piece. Um, so this is, um, I believe this is peaches and cream. I really don't remember what this one was. And then this is the Premier Home Cotton, the gray. Uh, the white is just cotton in the color white from the Dollar Tree and then the black is the same except in the color black it's not white so there we go so yes these are Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree I kind of think Walmart maybe Dollar Tree either way I'll put the pattern down below <laughs> but this is maybe one of my favorite ones that I've made the bloomers were fun the bloomers were fun but this guy He's pretty darn cute. Okay, so then for my dish soap cover this time. <clears throat> also, I wanted, or also, again, I wanted to make something super summery and super fun. So I did. I tried to. I made a watermelon dress. Okay. So with this one. Also, I didn't have a pattern. We were just watching TV last night. Um, we finally set up our fireworks last night. I'm going to be uploading this as soon as I'm done with it. So, like, within... I don't even know what today is. Fourth of July was, like, two weeks ago. So, anyway, we finally shot our fireworks off last night. So, after that and the movie, I just sat there and, like, watched our movie and tried not to think about it. So, I didn't want to look at a pattern. Okay. So, I... This is the Just Cotton Christmas Red. This is Just Cotton. I believe it's Christmas Green, but I don't know that. It's just green. And then this is the... Um, is it? I think this is Peaches and Cream Black. I'm going to say it's just yarn, but it's not. Or just... It's just yarn every time, actually. Just Cotton, but it's not. I think it's um, Peaches and Cream. Anyway, okay, so I chained, let's see, six, and then I did double crochet the rest of the way. So I did, no, that's not true, I chained five, and then I chained three, double crocheted into the third chain from the hook, you know, went back and forth for one, two, three, four rows. And then I started doing increases. And so in the end stitches, I would do two double crochet and then one the whole way across and two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet in one stitch, 
one double crochet all the way across, two double crochet in that stitch. So I thought it was a good length. I didn't have the dish soap cover. I honestly wanted it to be like a little bit shorter. I was thinking like a cute little summer dress, but kind of fits it perfectly, so it's fine. And then in the green, these are all treble crochets. I just did a treble crochet in each stitch and then just did a single crochet all the way up. I used my yarn needle and made little seeds and I just stitched in like, you know, through it and back through it and two times and that was my, that's how I made a seed. And then the belt, cause you know, she has to have a snatched waist, look cute, right? It's summertime, come on now. Anyway, so I just chained, I chained, I believe 15 and then I just like wove the chain well, snipped it off obviously and then wove the chain in between those stitches for her belt so that's that I thought it turned out super cute she may need a couple more watermelon seeds but I don't know I kind of think you get the idea and before I put the watermelon seeds on it looked just like a Christmas dress so I was just like okay noted December noted <laughs> so anyway all right so this guy This guy who is my favorite. He may need to be our mascot. Here we could just do this. Will he stay? Oh, no way. Oh, he's cute. Okay, we might just do that. Anyway, and then it's kind of creepy. Anyway, and then my daisy. And that's what I made this time for the 2021 Country Gal Kitchen Cow collab. Just a collab. Not a cow. Country gal, kitchen cow. It's like all the words in the same thing. Y'all know. Hop on if you want to. Go ahead and make some stuff. Okay, so like I said, my darling Miss Angelia Crocheting House Mouse so do, is doing this with me. She has the Facebook and Instagram, or you can email us your photos of whatever it is that you decide to make. It's somehow kitchen related. It doesn't even have to be country related. You could be like city kid, make an entry. We'll accept it. It's fine. Once again, no rules. So we're just country gals. And so we thought it was a cute name. And so if you guys want to send whatever, we would love to showcase your items. Thank you so very much for those of you who have done it. It's been, this has been so much fun. Um, it's July already which is crazy. So anyway, we're over halfway over. That's what we were just talking about that it seems like a month it like comes right up on you, but then it's like that. Yeah, it's already almost or over halfway over. It's nuts. So anyway, so thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you for those of you who entered your beautiful items. There will be some here in just a second at the end of this. So thank you to those ladies. And I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you all very soon.